With Looker, you can send reports, referred to as looks, and dashboards to your colleagues so that your entire team can stay up to date with what's happening at your company. You can send looks and dashboards via email or to a variety of services, inspiring others to jump into Looker themselves to find the answers to their data questions. This is the Business Overview Dashboard, which has been useful in keeping you up to date with the status of your e-commerce business. You've been logging into Looker to check it out daily. You can set up a schedule so that your teammates will see the dashboard in their email inbox each morning, effectively keeping them in the loop so that they know exactly what they need to know every day. If you're scheduling a look, you could either click Create Schedules in the right pane, or use the gear menu in the upper right. If you start from a dashboard, as you are now, first click the Dashboard Actions menu in the upper right. Then click Schedule Delivery. If this dashboard has already been scheduled, this window would show existing schedules associated with the dashboard. From here, click New to start a new schedule. The schedule inherits the name of the dashboard. You can simply click the title to rename it if you'd like. Next, you need to choose when you want the data to be sent. In this case, your teammates will receive the dashboard every morning at 6 a.m. Next, decide where you want this data to go. Email is a commonly used destination, but you could also set up a webhook to a separate service, send the results to an S3 bucket, or push the dashboard directly to an SFTP server. Your Looker admin can also add additional choices. With the email option chosen, your teammates will see this dashboard in their email daily. Next, add the email addresses of your teammates. If you choose to send the dashboard via a different service, you would see different options here. Looker automatically adds your email address as well. And to remove an email, just click the X next to an address. Next, choose how you want the data to be formatted. These choices depend on the type of destination you choose and what your Looker admins have set up. For email, some options will be included in the email directly and some as attachments. The PDF option will send the dashboard as a PDF attachment. If you are scheduling a look rather than a dashboard, the format options will be different. You have the option to display the look's data table or visualization in the body of the email, or you can send a number of different attachment styles for that table. Back up at the top of the window, the Filters tab allows you to set filters for the dashboard. The filters you see here are inherited from the dashboard, and this section is particularly useful if you want to send out different schedules that correspond with different filter values. For example, on this schedule you may want to change the state filter, so your users will only see results for orders coming from California. The Advanced Options tab has additional options for this schedule. You can add a message to the email here, This option is for Looker admins and lets them have each email recipient see the dashboard as though they ran it themselves. It's useful to include a link to Looker in the email so your users can quickly jump into Looker and start doing their own data exploration. And you can also change visualization settings by checking or unchecking these last two options. You can change the paper size for printing. The time zone option corresponds with the timing options you made above. You can click here and change the time zone if you want to send this schedule at, say, 6 a.m. Eastern Time in the Americas, rather than Pacific. You're now ready to schedule this dashboard. To make sure the recipients receive the email as intended, you have the option to send a one-time test email. Clicking Save will save the schedule. And now, the Business Overview Dashboard will be sent to your teammates' email every morning at 6 a.m., ensuring that your team can stay up to date with the status of the business. Thanks for watching. In this video, we talked about sending and scheduling looks and dashboards.